Okay, uh, this is a do-it-yourself uh, lamp you can see over there on the table. And I thought I'd start start it off by uh, giving you sort of a a comparison. This is my shop. Please excuse the mess. It's pretty horrendous in here. Um, but right now, I have a, uh, a f I, I believe it's a 50 watt light bulb. It says 50, 100, 150 on it. So I I don't know. Maybe it's a Maybe it's a step lamp, but I'm gonna guess that it's 50 watts up there right now. So this is the general level of illumination as shown by this camera with that 50 watt light bulb. So what I've built is an LED lamp, which is you know nothing special about it, but extremely cheap to construct. And what it is, as you can see, is I, I went to the thrift store and I found like a, a, a frosted uh, highball. I guess you would call it like a highball, something you'd mix up a scotch or something in. And it's just frosted glass. And I played around with it for quite a while, you know. Initially I thought, oh no, I'll lose so much lumens by it. But I don't like the edge that a, a lot of super bright LEDs give off. And in this case you have 12 3.6 volt, 100 milliamp, um... LEDs that are eight millimeters in size. Um, now they're not expensive. They're 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 quite cheap. I buy fifty of them. I think for about eight or ten bucks. May, maybe maybe more. I'll have to check on that. But they're not really expensive. So that's twelve out of a an order of fifty that I did. I, I took a little piece of pipe, about three inch PVC pipe. Now inside of it, you can see on the on the back side where my uh, circuitry is down in here. You can see that there's like a silvery um, dish inside, and that forms a reflector that's on the inside. Okay, and um, that's what allows the LEDs to really throw their light in all kinds of directions at once. And then with the frosted glass on top, the light is further uh, diffused in, in pretty much every direction imaginable. And the key thing is, is that it's not harsh on your eyes. I mean, even if it was right beside you on a table and you're playing cards, camping or something, it's not going to bother you. So, you know, it's, it's a really nice light by comparison of just an LED spot which you know every time you glance over at the thing you'd be blinded right so what this thing is is it's 12 volts 12 LEDs um, with this battery it's like a little garden battery that I have with this battery sitting at about 12.6 volts right now um, the draw on this device is about uh, 320 milliamps so without using a calculator I'm gonna say somewhere in the department of three to four watts of power consumption so we'll do one quick comparison here again of this room with a 50 watt light I'll stand right here and you can see that you know it's quite lit up alright so that's 50 watts incandescent alright now I'll plug this in and I'll let you look at the difference of what 50 watts incandescent 120 uh, compared to 12 volts, uh, 3 to 4 watts. Okay, as you can see, it's quite bright. Now I'll turn off the other light, of course, so that you can see the difference and let the camera adjust. Obviously, you don't have the big bright in the corner there, we. But you do have some pretty good bright up top there. So it's a little bit different of a light. It's not uh, quite as yellow of a light. It's a pretty sterile white light in a sense. Although it is slightly blued by that glass. But um, compared to some of the 1 watt lamps and stuff that I've built, this is no longer what I would call a night light. Um, it's quite a functional light. This is a large room. It's uh, at least, I would say, well, it's about 12 by 20, this room. So, you know, you, 
you're getting some pretty darn good light off of this and um, I can walk right up to it and although on the video it looks pretty intense it doesn't hurt your eyes to look straight at it mind you if that if that uh, cover was on wasn't on there those LEDs blasting in your face would be you know pretty damn intense um, but I find that if you pick up these little frosted glasses they go a long ways now I have mine my 12 I have them running pair in in uh, in parallel four sorry two yeah four parallel groups of three in series and the LED calculator online told me to put a 12 ohm resistor at the end of each series using 12 volts as a calculator uh, figure I think I actually only went with 10 ohms resistor I don't know what it is whether or not the statistics on the LEDs that I buy aren't quite accurate or what but I find that my numbers don't add up quite the way the calculator tells me they're going to and I find that I end up using slightly smaller resistors than what that LED calculator tells me to use online um, uh, now I did actually do a voltage drop check across one single LED and it's a bit high it's about 3.8 volts but so far anyways my experience has been telling me that slight over voltages like these are rated at 3.2 to 3.6 each slight over voltages don't seem to be um, quite as big of a deal as if you drive uh, tons of extra current you need a little bit of resistance to stop from burning them out but you know time will tell right time will tell we'll see how long they last but they are driven very hard under these circumstances and what I find is is that you know if you if you design a little bit uh, a little bit aggressive I guess would be the word pushing your luck a little bit all of these 12 volt batteries you know they drop they drop down to 11.8 and then they're 11.6 and then you know by the time they hit about 11.4 you're gonna recharge or something right so you know when this thing drops down to 11 volts it's only gonna be drawing 80 milliamps well there's 12 LEDs right it's 80 milliamps is 80 milliamps right so you know I don't know I think it's current that kills LEDs um, a lot of people might argue with me and say it's voltage that kills LEDs but as you increase your voltage naturally if the current is there and it's available the draw will be higher so I don't know I've I've played around with jewel thieves and lots of different circuits where in theory you're, you're driving quite a lot of voltage into these LEDs and they seem to stand up to over voltage more than they do over current but if you've got some you know more scientific uh, opinions on that then I'd love to hear them but I have a hard time optimizing these things when I, I built a while back I built a, a 40 LED array they're only little guys like three millimeters or something and, and you know I designed it to 14 volts to be all safe and everything and at the end of the day those 40 uh, LEDs in my bar it's it's good but it's it's just a it's just another one watt light it it, it it's a night light, you know, and it's not like this where you're you're lighting up a room. Like this is going to be a great camping light. I mean, this is just going to be fantastic for three watts. It's a great little do-it-yourselfer. I think the total cost on this would be well, certainly it's going to be under five bucks to build one of these, and you can't go to Walmart and buy this kind of exact sort of. Thing. So, you know, I, lo I like building them one way or another, whether you can buy something better or not. But I don't know, this is just uh, this is a good camping light. And it doesn't blast you in the face. And it throws lights 360 degrees, whether it's hanging upside down or sitting on a table, really does the job. So, uh, 
have some fun, build something like that, make a video and, and send it to me and uh, I'd love to see what you've, you've built out there. Anyway, that's it. Thanks a lot.